Which teams do you hate that don't consider your team a rival? So, because we are both SEC guys, I'm kind of staying away from, you know, the Southeastern Conference. Uh, For those that are new to the show, I am an Alabama fan. Chris is an LSU fan. So, we'll go ahead and get that out of here. And we do have a little bit of bias here and there. We try not to. Or at least I try not to. (laughs) But, uh, But it comes out every now and then. So, Chris, I will let you start off with teams that you that you hate that don't consider your team a rival. Like, there's no real reason why you should hate them, but you do anyway. No, I got reason. I got reason. <laughs> I got, and and, 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 and the only punch up, this is, this is just how I believe in the world, it'd be, but it's Clemson, Ohio State, Oklahoma. Yeah. Okay, I can get with that. In that in that order, in that order, I don't know that I hate Oklahoma so much. Um, I hated them always being placed where they were because they beat the hell out of the Big Twelve and they scored a lot of points, and they were always ranked, you know, in the top three, top four every year. And and then they get in the playoffs, and they just get the shit kicked out of them. And and here's the thing: the teams that beat the hell out of them, they were really good. Had they played harder competitions, they'd have got the shit kicked out of them more often than that. So yeah. that, that that was the only thing. But Clemson, Ohio State, one two. Yeah, yeah, I tend to agree. Um, I put down UCF, and there's no real reason for, for that. Um, other than you're I a guess, bully. At 2017, I suppose that's that's it. Because you're a bully. Uh, but yeah, I've got I've got Clemson, Ohio State, and Oklahoma down for the same reasons. Clemson, uh, the the fan base just it kind of gets under my skin. And I, Dabo started out as somebody that's like plucky, gritty, you know, you like them. But I think it's, I think it goes across the board, right? Where teams that win too much, it's, it's why everybody other than no. Patriots fans hated the Patriots. Uh, but Dabo takes Dabo, this to no. a, yeah, it's a new extreme, right? Dabo, Dabo, Dabo is unbearable. He's <laughs> unfucking bearable. <laughs> It's uh, it's pretty ridiculous. You know, we just you know, Clemson. Nobody respects us. You're the biggest powerhouse in college football, you cocksucker. Or at least for a little bit, were right. At least because they're oh, definitely not God. right now. Definitely not right now. Uh, which you is know, Clemson. Nobody respects us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you remember how uh, how frustrated he used to get when people would use the the phrase Clemsoning or use the word Clemsoning. Yep. And it's like, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, well, nobody really says it's it a anymore. delicate little flower. It's really interesting that that guy used to play DB. Like, I, I just think guys that used to play the sport are a little tougher, a little he, less. He didn't play DB. Like, I get, I get, huh? He didn't play. Uh, you said DB, defensive back. Yeah, what is a DB? Oh, was he wide receiver? Yeah, he was. He was a wide receiver. <laughs> oh, that makes never mind. Never mind. It, it makes, it all makes sense now. Right? <laughs> okay. Uh, I have no idea why I thought he was a DB guy. I don't know why. I just, okay. All right. Now Saban's it all makes sense. Yeah. Now it all makes sense. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get that. Yes, he's a football All right. Uh, Ohio State is is always uh, up at the top. And I think I think it's that way. Uh, what I was saying is, like, the Patriots, once you win so much, the only people that like you are your fans. Everybody else wants to see you lose. It's the same thing with Clemson, Ohio State, and with Oklahoma. And Oklahoma has see, a chance to but jump I don't, into. I don't, a, I don't agree with. I don't agree with that, Gary, because you compare these things to the Patriots in the NFL. And this, yes, I'm biased because the Patriots. Can. In the NFL, you get the you get the worst draft pick every year. You finish best. Okay. Yeah. And in college football. If you're really good, you get all the best players, so you get to be really good again. And then you get all the best players, you get to be really good again. And then you get all the best players, you get to be really good again. This is this is why you can't compare those two things. And it infuriates me that you do it all the time. Because they're not the same. They're not close to the fucking same. Nick I'm not Saban talking. left the NFL because he couldn't <laughs> handle it. I'm not talking about them being the same sport. I'm talking about when a team, regardless of what it is, because it's the same way with the Yankees. It's the same way in uh, in basketball with the Lakers, etc. When you win so much, everybody wants to see you lose. It's it's like that with the Cowboys it, for 30 years after they won their last championship, right? See, but see, see, this is the problem. They haven't won in 30 years, and people still hate them. So the, it, winning has nothing to do with it. 
There's an entire generation of fans that make fun of them and hate them that have never seen them win anything. That's a good point. You remember it because it yeah. happened while you were in high school. So winning can't be the reason, all right? You said the Yankees? The Yankees haven't won a World Series in 10 years, okay? Agreed. Agreed. The Red Sox have won four <laughs> since the Yankees have won one, and the Red Sox are one of the most likable teams in all of baseball. Now, they're not beloved, but – that, that they don't have near the hatred that that you know the Yankees have. All right. No, you're, so you're winning not wrong. doesn't turn you into an asshole. Winning right. doesn't make people hate you. These people, you're using that as a crutch and an excuse. It's not the winning. They're just pieces of shit. <laughs> I put a I put Miami on here. Um, you know, like I, it I just it, it, there's something about. That program, that fan base, all the drama that surrounds it, etc. And then whenever they do get even a little bit good, the media jumps all over them. So I, I put them and kind of paired them with Notre Dame, right? Um, but I, but the media hadn't really jumped on Notre Dame all that much, and and I kind of find myself pulling for Notre Dame some. So I, I'm, I might just take Notre Dame off of that. Um, I got two others that I just irrationally. Don't like USC is going to get unbearable. Once That's what it was. I, I, I'm pairing USC and Texas together. Yeah, no. Nope. Well, the problem with Texas is Texas is never going to get good enough to actually be a threat to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. You know the reason I didn't put Texas in my list because I don't punch down. I just don't. That's that's terrible. <laughs> I just don't. It's so terrible. I don't punch down. Oh man! But hey, they can't say anything right now. I mean, for sure. So. I'm, well, okay. no, they finished like fourth in the Big Twelve the last couple of years. What do you mean? Well, my God, it's it's what are you been talking about. It's been what ten years? Uh, th- well, no, it's been longer than that since they went to a national you championship. You're talking about game. just winning the Big Twelve. Oh. I'm talking about not finishing like in the middle of the pack. It's been bad. Like Texas Tech has beaten you. They uh, well, I mean, forget Texas Tech, Kansas. Like they've only got four conference wins in the last decade. Two of them are against Texas. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But uh, but I still irrationally don't like them, uh, and I think I think the fact that their fans have like destroyed us <laughs> here over the last like six years that's probably got something. Oh to do no, with their fans, their fans, their fans have definitely been pretty brutal. Oh, their fans are. have been worse. Like I, I the shit that I say about Ohio State and Clemson, that like I I get that. I've never once said anything outside of the truth about Texas, which is just that I just don't see them as a threat. Like. I don't talk down to them. I don't talk bad about them. I just don't think they're as great as people. And man, they have they they take shit personally. Oh, they like, they have if, murdered if you in the State comments. Fans, <laughs> yeah. just, if Ohio State fans can ask me, I get it. I earn that. I deserve that. I understand it. My family is Ohio State fans. Half the people that I'm related to are Ohio yeah. State people. Okay, I understand it. Now, none of them have ever, you know, they they all wear the Buckeyes. And they all—they all got all the hoodies. They, they couldn't tell you three players in the last two years. Like they, you know. But, well, yeah. I mean, it, they almost okay. treat it like an NFL team. With Texas, it always cracked me up because they went after me too, uh, just because of picks. Right? We would just make picks on games, and they destroyed pick us against them. if we pick against them. And it, what cracks me up is I had you remember uh, Tom Herman's. Was it second second or third year? Whatever it was, I actually picked them before the season to go to the playoff. And yeah, I and remember they, that. I laughed at you. They still we had, destroyed. We had, we, had a good, we had a good laugh about that. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> but I was also picking Michigan around then, and and all that. I really thought those teams were going to be better. Um, but it is what it is. Like they just did not get it done. The ones that I it, irrationally don't like for whatever reason, uh, I don't like Washington. Like never been a fan. Like kind of kind of pull against them all the time because they. They kind of carry themselves as a Pac-12, you know, dominant team, but but they haven't ever really been. So I find myself pulling against them. Like, I, I, how about this? Maybe I just pull against them for those other teams, right? Like, I want Cal to beat them every time they play. I want Washington State to beat them every time. The Arizona State, etc. Like, I every time they play Utah, right? But maybe I'm maybe I'm pulling more for those teams than against Washington. But I don't know when I've ever actually cheered for Washington. Like, is is that, do you have any teams like that? I mean, I've got a lot of teams that I'm like agnostic about, and I'm usually going to always pull for the underdog over the, 
over the big boys. So yeah, I like Washington State over Washington, but that I don't I don't know if that's a hate. I, I I literally feel nothing towards Washington. I mean that's that's sticking your finger in lukewarm water to a point where you can't tell your fingers in water. Like it's not hot, yeah. it's not cold. It's you, just you know, there. That, yeah. If Washington quit playing football, they got the death penalty tomorrow. My life would change. So. <laughs> I've like, got a. Like, I've got they were just like, we're just not going to play. We're just not going to play football ever again. Like, like, yeah. I, oh, really? That's new. I've okay, uh, okay. I've got Colorado in that same boat. Like, I, I just, you know, I always end up pulling against them, but it's not because they're some dominant team or anything like that. Like, I just find myself pulling for whoever is playing against Colorado, basically every time. And I don't well, know why that is. So that's interesting. So I like two of the teams that you dislike. I like a lot. Or I'll be like, I guess like little girl middle school reason. Um, <laughs> I I think Ralphie is, is maybe the greatest mascot in all the sports. And see, and I don't have a problem with that. Like the tradition and everything sounds great. I would love to go to a Colorado game. I just... I don't like to cheer for him. Oh, and I don't know what that is. You and me, you and me, you and me deal with dislike very differently then. Okay. Like I I never like I throw up when I drive through Columbus. Okay. <laughs> like I like I don't I don't I don't want to ever go to a game. Man. I don't want to I don't care I don't care about the shoe. I don't care about the I don't give a shit about any of that. Okay. <laughs> I've been to Death Valley. All right. That is the holy grail. I've been to the only Death Valley, by the way, you fuck sticks in, in South Carolina. <laughs> I, I, so so that's like I don't care about any of that other stuff, right? But, but I like I would never hate a team and then be like, oh yeah, but I really want to go see a game there. Like I really want to be a part of that. And so, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, bird just flew to the ground. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, no, that's care. don't like, get me wrong. I don't want to go there. There are some in the conference that uh that I do hate, like and and really dislike, right? Like beyond any reasonable. And those are places <laughs> that I like. I know. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that the I planes know. is one of the coolest things in the world. I want so bad to go to Neyland Stadium when it's packed. I want to yeah. be there when it's packed. You know, get back. I want to. I want over a hundred thousand in there screaming. That old Miss game this past year would have been would have been the spot for you. That would have been no, the spot for you. no, because I wouldn't. I don't handle ruckus very well. I've, I've gotten old. I've gotten crotchety. I'll start throwing people off that bridge, off that balcony. Those <laughs> those seats go straight up in the air. And you push somebody over a ledge, they'll fall to their death. Yeah, no, you, you're not now, wrong. Now, now I got court dates and um, uh, attorney fees, and it's just bad. That's just a that's just a mess. I, hey, I don't handle stupidity anymore. I'm done with that. I'm too old. I know that we are uh, we're recording a week early. But uh, but I've got ESPN. I've been watching you know conference tournament games and whatnot. Uh, Bears are attempting to finalize a trade, sending Khalil Mack to the Chargers. That Chargers defense might end up scary. Man, to the Chargers. To the Chargers. Well, the Chargers have a crap ton of cap space. I know that. Yeah, that's weird. I'm very curious to see what they start signing. My Patriots have a lot of cap space. There's a lot of. I'm curious to see. Who's going to be spending this year and who they going to spend it on? And uh, you are not wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.